Well, uh, to be honest, the only way you can actually stop um, people getting addicted to drugs, uh, which is different, I think, from what you meant by uh, stop the addiction of drugs. Because once you're an addict, you're an addict for life, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. So you've got to stop them right at the beginning from even experimenting with mood-altering drugs, drugs that affect their judgment, their schooling, their family relationships, you know. And uh, so, so um, the only way they can stop are, are by social changes in the family and in the community and laws that support family and community. But once the, pe once the uh, people, kids are, are affected by drugs, then it's a different ball game. It's about rehabilitation, it's about detox. It's about, uh, you know, punitive actions like jail and um, boys' homes and things like that. It's a different thing. But to actually stop the drug problem or the ep epidemic of drug problems, it's only at this stage in the family that it can be achieved. The effects of these drugs that the people choose to use they're illegal for one reason, because they have what's called stupefying effects, which means that they lose their judgment, they can't think, they get stoned, they're, they're irrational. Um, when, when these sort of drugs are used in young people, mainly um, young, young, uh, young adolescents from the age of about 12, 13, which is uh, about the age now that people are experimenting with drugs, uh, it affects their mental function and one of the fallouts from this loss of mental uh, stability is um, they're, they're, they're affected uh, academically. A lot of them usually ex expelled by the time they're in year 10 um, and, they, and most of them or a lot of them get into heavier and heavier drugs while at the same time continuing with the gateway drugs like marijuana. Drugs are a big issue as our ch children grow older. Um, there's more and more readily available drugs that appears and kids are influenced by peer pressure probably more these days than they were when I was growing up. Um, drugs were around when I was younger, mainly marijuana, but that was easily avoidable. You know, you just the right crowd, you just it was never an issue. But you know, you hear more and more of that young girl Maddie just went to a a music festival, had dr drugs for the first time and didn't survive. You know, simple mistake that she's made and now her life is ruined. Well, as a parent, we talk to our children about the effects of it, the problems that it causes, and we just, hopefully, we've taught them well enough to make the right decisions in life so it doesn't become an issue for themselves and they can avoid it like we did as children. Before the uh, 1970, 78, there was hardly a drug problem among the population in the United States or Australia or England. Less than 1% of schools children ever tried an illegal drug in 68. By 78, about 65% of high school seniors had tried an illegal drug, which in those days was marijuana. And nearly 10 to 20% of them were smoking it regularly. And the problem has just escalated ever since.